Another obvious use case for the OX-1 is in maintenance and repair mode. Thanks to its advanced exploring capabilities, the OX-1 is a perfect tool for quick and efficient troubleshooting. Let's see how this can be applied in a major Tier 1 MSO maintenance group. A technician is called out to service a pawn customer that is losing services at an individual address. None of the other customers fed from the same FDH are experiencing any issues. The technician can theorize that if no light is present at the ONU, he may have an issue with a drop cable, tap, or feeder cable after the previous tap. Using the OX-1's flash advisor mode at the ONU, the drop fiber is identified as 250 feet in length from the tap to the ONU. The tech can check the RX level at the ONU to evaluate if there is low or no power being received at the ONU. If no power at all is present, then the tech can run the OX-1's flash advisor to see the distance to the fault. If the drop cable has a break in it, then a new one will need to be installed. If the drop cable is not broken, the tech will be able to see through the tap to the feeder cable where the break will be located. A restoration team can then be called in to make the repairs. If a low power scenario is present, then the tech can run the OX-1's link mapper to evaluate the entire optical cable path. If the drop cable has impairments, they will be identified in the link mapper results. They can then be repaired individually or completely by replacing that fiber link. In the event the drop cable is not the issue, the tech can evaluate the tap and the feeder cable integrity before calling in either a contractor or the restoration team. Next, the tech can confirm power levels are restored and in line with the RX power requirements using the OX-1's power checker mode. Lastly, the tech can use the filtered 1650 nanometer port to shoot an in-service link mapper to confirm that the path is clean and free of events or issues. The tech can then close the ticket and move to the next job.